Um, before my person starts, welcome everybody um, to another Chaos Africa meeting. Who would love to take notes, like on the to the dog? Who would love to take notes? Because the notes are usually helpful for like a summary of the meeting. So hold. Okay. Um, my blessing can go ahead. So, is that me? Are you the one? Are you not the one facilitating today? Or <laughs> okay, I want to share, but it's it's actually fine. Okay. I can. <laughs> I can. Okay. Um. Hello, everyone. Um. Happy on and welcome to, to the Chaos Africa community call. I hope you're all doing well um, and hope you're resting this holiday, eating a lot of meat. So I had dropped the meeting notes in the chat, but let me just do that again. And um, today you'll be telling us your name and what you are so proud of for the last six months. Ouch. Sorry. Sorry, IJ. <laughs> All right, so let's quickly do that. Let, let me share my screen. Sorry. Okay, go for that part. Uh, okay. Mm, name myself. No, no, my name is always changed. I'm um, so don't. Okay. I just don't see my screen now. Yeah, so, we can. Yes. Okay, cool. So just, I don't know. We have just been alive, Sha. I don't know. <laughs> I've been alive. That's an achievement, I guess. So I uh, see some people just joined in. I'll just drop a few minutes once again. Uh, okay. So we do not have a lot. Talk about, oh, I think we do have a lot to talk about. But first things first, um, well, everyone, I mean, after Chaos Con, it felt like we, we went on a short break and we are finally back. So welcome back, everyone. And so many amazing people joined the community on the day of the conference and also after the conference, right? We had a lot of plenty of people join. Um, chaos um, that are Africans, so um, new members, right? And um, let me see if I can identify the new new here so that they can quickly tell us about themselves. Um, yeah, hi Rosa, new because I remember seeing you around at the newcomers call. Just tell us about yourself. Um, just your name and maybe what you do. Yeah, and when you're dialing in from Nigeria, Kenya, you know. Hi, Rosa. Are you there? Who? Rosa. I'm, I'm sure. Okay, I think she's not here. We're not going to move on to someone else. Um, Hi, on the chat. Um, she introduced herself on the chat. She's designed oh. from Nigeria. Nice to meet you, Rosa. Hi, yeah, nice to meet you, Rosa. Um, hi, Funke. I'm around on the community call. Are you new? And if yes, just a brief introduction about yourself. Hi, everyone. It's my main issue. Let me speak so I can find it to Slack. Uh, but I'm not sure. Mm. Hi, Funke. Hi, you. Can we hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Funke. Yeah. Oh, hi, everyone. My name is Funke. Um, so, what were the questions? I am a technical writer. Um, I'm not. The, it's not my first time in the meeting. Nice to meet you all. 
Oh, so, it is not. I actually did it was <laughs> if it was a one your first time, but it's fine. Uh, for Rosa, I don't know if you've met Kinsley yet, but he is the one leading the design team in Chaos Africa. So you should meet with him and also join the Chaos Africa design. You know, on um, who else again? Who else again? Uh, okay, I don't think I can identify anyone. Hi, I do like him. I do with me. I think you're me. You want to say hi? Um, okay. <laughs> Right. I think a lot of people are having connection issues. I'm seeing a lot of people's um, <laughs> And also, if you're not speaking, you can just mute your mind. Thank you. I wish you could help us mute them. All right, we're just going to move on. I mean, if you're new to the community, you can easily just let us know um, your name and where you're dialing in from and what you do in the chat. Um, yeah, if you can't speak at the moment. So let's, let's just move on. All right. Um, okay. Um, oh yeah. Chaos call Africa feedback and comments. Yo, um, let me first of all give a shout out to all the organizers of Chaos Con. I don't know if I can recall everyone's name now, but Ruth, Sayo, Faith, um, Omar, and um, um, who was again? Who was again? Kingsley. Um, Enoch, Elizana, everyone in the planning committee, shout out to each and every one of you. You all did an amazing job um, for a first time conference. I think I think you all did yourself, and that was really amazing. Um, I got some people in my contact who attended, and they really they really enjoyed themselves. So kudos to everyone. I mean, you could give a virtual clap if you have. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, I think I'm just going to go with feedback. Does anyone have any feedback, you know, as regarding oh, what we could do better? I know there's also like a survey form. Um, Ruth, are you putting that in the, in the meeting notes? Yes, I will. All right, but just just a quick um, take on that. Does anyone have anything to share? Um, why Ruth tries to like find the link to the survey? Um, do you have anything to share from speakers to like maybe how they are to like um, the host, then also the meal? So any comment at all you have, you can just share quickly why we would try to like find the, uh, the form. Anyone wants to say anything? Any comment from anyone? I mean, if, it's, if it was all amazing, you can easily just say, oh, was great and you know any feedback any comments i think uh, yeah sure um elizino you can go for it okay um thank you very much um good day to everyone um yeah like the blessing said the chaos con was was a blast and for the most part, yes, it was really tremendous. And kudos to all the organizers. And I have filled the feedback form. And I don't know, Mary, is it okay to um, say what has already been written on the feedback form? Yeah, sure. You can share it with you. Uh, yeah, so everyone just like it. All sure. right, fantastic. So yeah, I made... Um, two observations, and the first was um, with respect to the media team. Uh, now, I know we all observed that the, the, the recording um, audio quality was very, um, was very, um, left much to be desired, basically. And I thought it was an issue with the, with the speaker in the conference um, room until I had to approach approach the media team like what's going on and i saw that first of all the laptop they were using was not a laptop and it's a laptop well i'm sure you understand what i mean all right 
and then the app they were using to project the video was was is not strong enough to really project volume when you have issues with volume so i suggested that going forward and um, when we contract those um, um those um, op um, operations out we should also um put one or two checks in place to see that to ensure that these guys these um, vendors can deliver as they said they would um yes because I, I actually recommended an app for them to use immediately um and they tried to use it the volume came up and then the system crashed <laughs> all right so yeah uh, that's the first observation and then secondly i also said that um okay so workshops should be workshops and not theory shops all right uh, what I mean by that is, so for example, take the take the session of um, Ispihan, where we had to where we had to um, do the GitHub um, co-pilot. All right. Um, um, so it was uh, not a um, lot of talk, talk, talk. So assuming we have um, workshops, I'm suggesting that of course the planning committee would have already known the workshops to have. So um, we're going to have know the amount of um, um, audience we are expecting and see how we can get um, laptops available because of course persons will come without their machine and so we could say if we are expecting a hundred person how many laptops do we need so that we can break these hundred persons into smaller groups and so each of us can even come with our own machine to augment and then those that come with us fantastic and yeah so basically workshops should be workshops in this way my um feedback thank you thank you very much um this works by the way thank you for your feedback that, that's really helpful um on the media side um i know that um for the view we used we also had like issues with their sound right um so that was also one thing as well i wasn't aware about the app but you know, we would, you know talk with them about that and you know but but on on the venue side as well i know i think we decided to go with their sound and they said the sound was good we had come to test it the day before and everything was all good and then you know that day was seeming it wasn't good anymore so um thank you for that feedback i would also like um check on, on that and also on the, about the laptops um it's well it's it's something we might not be able to control because some persons might not be comfortable with giving people their laptop we try to you know let people know we did but i think in the in the newsletters i sent out for reminders there was like a reminder to come with their laptops but then few people did come with their laptops but yeah we try to think about that and um also try to make that happen as well thank you for the feedback don't know if anybody yeah thank you let's know for the feedback and as we said we actually did let people know to come with their laptops i think if you even before we try to like get people for the workshop so also mentioned um i, I believe so but yeah anyone else has anything to say feedback comments yeah. had amazing stuff to talk about the mail um, oh yeah, sure. Okay. What's that? Anita? Oh yes. Hi, Anita. Okay. Um, so first I'd like to give a thumbs up to every single person that put hands together to make this a success. I thought it was amazing for the first time we actually attempted something like this. And um the yes, the first person actually pointed most of the things that we have to take into consideration. But I also want to um point or highlight that for the next ChaosCon Africa, we should consider doing more publicity because I think we could have had more persons um turn up to actually participate if we did do a lot of work 
in terms of publicity. And um, so that's something that I think we should work on um, ahead of time for next year. And for the speakers, we should also consider having like backup speakers just so in case someone decides to drop out at um, last minute, we're able to like immediately have someone stand in for um, in case something like that occurs. But all, in all, I think it was amazing. And I'm really happy that it turned out the way it did, except the few, um, the few things pointed out. I think it was great. Yeah, thank you very much, Anita. Um, I also like on the publicity part, um, we we'll take note of that too, but just also highlighting that we had, I think I was supposed to also give like stats of people that attended. We had 96 people out of 846. Initially we had planned for 100, but I expanded the I expanded the tickets to get to 150 so that in to make room for like in case some people that eventually sign up and not come for it. So um, we had 96 people um, that showed up um, for Chaos Con Africa, but 96 people out of 146 that signed up. So um, also maybe next time we'll also like plan for a bigger, um, you know, for a um, bigger amount of people. And I think something that I, I considered when when I chose the number was, um, you know, since it was like a smaller event and we're having it like getting a smaller room, I didn't want to like make it all choked up. Or next time we should also kind of plan for more people. And since it was also collocated on that Oscar, I felt that people would, you know, it would be like keyhole. Like literally, that week was like open source week. In maybe the next one, I don't know if people have thoughts on if we should have the next one collected on the Oscar, because I know personally, like I was quite overwhelmed, right? Trying because I was also on the Oscar part. So I, I, I would also love to get people's thoughts on how if should it be collocated on the another event next time, or did it work? Um around that thoughts around that as well because they I, I feel they are like the good sides and downsides to that in the sense that we had we had a lot of people like a lot of people from Oscar that participated in Chaos Con even from like the international aspects. Um so there are downsides and maybe maybe the downside I'll say is I was not really as effective as I would have been, right? Or some things were also a bit shaky because like we're also getting, also doing some things that are collocated on the Oscar. So I was going to ask and trade up to the people, to everyone, like, should we, what did it work or is it something we should just make as a standalone event and all that stuff? Well, it was okay for me. I think that way is perfect. What I'm saying, if we, from the feedback and everything we're getting now, will help planning for the next one, okay? Plan on time. If Chaos Africa is planned on time, then during the Bikers is, let me say in-house this way, if everything is well planned out on time, then uh, it won't be in uh, like a, a burden to you why we are planning for Oscar first, because already this plan is, is ready and uh, let's say people are in charge and they know already know what to do and how to it's just for you uh, pointing out this or breezing and breeze out and then why you're planning the other one but I love the combination for the two of them happening almost at the same time because number one a lot of people gives room for people to in fact kill one two birds with one stone that's one okay so um that's just what I'm saying. It's okay the way to, it happened. The way that way, just like moving forward, planning ahead will help everything being perfect. That's my take. Hello, Ruth. Can I say something? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, well, to add to what um sorry, 
Ume, sorry, sorry. I forgot to say your name already. Okay, to add to what she already said. <laughs> All right. To add to what she already said, I, I feel like, well, you, I understand why we had to, you know, like kind of attached to um, Oscar because this is actually a new event, right? So it needed, it needed let's say, pillars to, to stand. So, but now that you we've actually done the first one, I feel like next year, um, there is no need to, Chaos Con Africa can actually stand on its own. So we just have to kind of like do more robust planning, plan ahead of time, like she said, and put into consideration all the things we couldn't do in this last one, you know, try to do all of it in the next one and actually make it stand on its own because I feel like for how long are we going to keep, you know, tagging it with Oscar? It's a full-fledged conference on its own. So I, I feel like it should actually, we should actually start doing that as early as possible. Thank you, Joma, for that. Hi, Abigail. You can go for it. Um, thank you. Um, so, I mean, I think all the points that the folks raised are actually very great. And I personally uh, completely agree with like Ijoma. Um, also, I mean, what I would add would be um, on what the goals are right when you're organizing a conference you have a theme um you sort of definitely have a particular goal you want to achieve now attaching your conference to another major conference comes with its own advantages and disadvantages um doing a standalone conference like all all by yourself as an organization also comes with its positives and like negatives so what I would say is um, define like what, what are the goals that you want to achieve when you are having that particular conference for that year? Because even in a year, you can have two conferences. I don't think that um, it's, it's, it's impossible. You can still have um, a conference like attached to say like Oscar, like what happened this year and then because I, I feel like that also gave um, room to a lot of people to also get to know more about um, chaos, right? But then when it comes to the fact that you might have, I, I mean, I believe that chaos has a lot of projects that a lot of people are interested in contributing to, right? So for example, you have a theme for your conference and then you want to also have sprints where, um, different people get to actually work on the different projects under chaos, right? Then having an event um, with like, say, Oscar, it's, it's, it's going to make it extremely difficult, right? So um, if you want to have like a, um, um, a standalone like event, like specifically for like chaos con without um, having it co-located, you can look at the specific goal that you want to achieve with regards to that, because that will also mean, okay, we want to have um, a three-day long conference, right, where we have these sort of activities, talks, sprints, you know, that gives you room to do a lot of things than actually um, um partnering or having a co-located event under another major event so i mean i think this is what i'll share i feel like it really depends on the goal that you have for the conference also like again if there's an opportunity to have a co-located event like like this a, day, can you just run the one, like that happens say again like you should just kind of like help Randall because of time. Oh, okay, I think that'll be all. That'll be all I'll share. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, awesome. That's um, but we do not have a lot of time. So and we have a lot of hands raised. So but I think you can you can go and um but you have like one minute, right? 
Then after that, mm. Lopez, please, just one minute, please. Okay, can you hear me? Sure. Okay, I just want to um, support Peculiar and to say that um, we should put into consideration mm -hmm. that we have people coming from outside the country to um, the conference. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just trying to think if I have to attend like two conferences in the same country in a year, um, it's unlikely that I will go to the different conferences if it's set in different dates. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying because it's more economical for me to be able to go for different conferences happening around the same time than to go for two different conferences happening at different times. As an African, we might have different um, leverages, but as a regular African, having it together poses more advantage than the disadvantage. Right, so that's that's just supporting Peculia, and that's a really great point. Thank you so much, Adenka. Um, hi, Lopez. Uh, it is not you can go. Just yeah, um, no, um, so um, I think uh, Peculia, um, the, the last speaker, um, they, they spoke my mind, and um, let's factor in the international community, and then um, let's um, have them included. It's easier to it's easier for them to come in one week and dedicate that week to conferences in Nigeria than have them come twice within the year. I don't know, um, that's my point. So I support the last speaker and the first speaker. Thank you. All right, awesome. Um, David Adeteji, you can just go on as well. Uh, okay, uh, so I um, just want to give like a overall feedback. Um, uh, I mean, for, for the very first time we were holding this uh, kind of uh, event, it was actually, I feel it was kind of uh, smooth, very good, uh, kind of a lightning. Uh, so the other drawback I kind of have is, uh, and then one observation was that during the course of the event, there was a particular uh, lightning talk from Sean that uh, I think there was made, there was a promise that it would be uploaded to the YouTube channel. I've checked, like, for like two weeks now, it's not there. So I just wanted to just uh, state that observation. Thank you. Yeah, um, okay. So I, I think I'll uh, first start with um, the current conversation and then move to David's question. So um, thank you everyone for sharing your thoughts. Um, um, yeah, like, like Abigail said, they're like, you know, the advantages and there are some downsides to having it collocated or not collocated, right? Um, so I think what we can do, like all this feedback, and if you if everybody that's spoken as well can fill the form, that would also be helpful to kind of also decide on, you know, what how the next one will look like. And something I also wanted to point out is it's not always going to be in Nigeria as well, right? Um, we plan to host ChaosCon around different conferences, different um, other places in Africa. So yeah, so maybe for some places, collocation, like being collocated in one conference would work. Maybe for some other places, it won't work, right? So that feedback form, if you can put it in the feedback form as well to help us decide and whenever it's going to happen, everybody will have something to we still have to like, you know, we still have to talk about it and decide finally, but thank you everyone. And then to David's question, yes, um, and, and, and this was also a sound issue that Sean's video was, did not play. Um, but yeah, um, well, I think the, the people that they would, they would soon upload it on the YouTube and I'm going to share it on the channel so everybody can, you know, get to, um, you know, do that like watch the video because I, I i did look at sean's talk it was really great so yeah um i think we can move to the next thing and thank you everyone for sharing your thoughts really do appreciate it yep thanks everyone for sharing and uh, we have like two recaps now for chaos um on on the chaos africa channel so if you haven't seen that please head over there to go check it out and yeah all right, so the next thing on the agenda is the GitHub Copilot partnership with Chaos Africa. So, and um, 
so we, I mean, we've been doing this for like, I think three weeks now, if not more. And we have like leads leading these stories for us. We have, we, we came up with three stories, even in the last meeting, you would have known this by now. And um, just a quick run through on what, you know, um, updates on each of these stories. Um, can each of the leads just, you know, step up to like share what's happening in their teams. I think um, story one lead could go first, Omolere. Hi, are you on the call? Is Omolere on the call? Um, Hi everyone, yes I am. Oh yeah, sure. Good afternoon everyone. Um, I'd like to thank all of us for um, our hard work so far as regards to Chaos Con and then um, our partnership with GitHub Co-Pilot. So for my group, um, our topic is um, how GitHub Co-Pilot helps new divergent developers. And um, we have made considerable progress working on that so far. I'd like to say big ups to everyone on my team. Daniel, Mary Blessing, Peculiar, Precious, they've been, they've been really wonderful. They've been, they've been such an amazing set of people to work with. Um, we conducted three interviews, two of which are already conducted and one which is later to hold today. And we're talking to um, neurodivergent developers in order to gain their perspective as regards um, GitHub co-pilots and um, other AI tools. So this is um, a form of feedback and which will be um, infusing some storytelling into in order to craft our final results. So um, yes, I gave Ruth a deadline for July 21st, that's next month for us to round up um, the project. So there's that, that's, that's it for my team. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Omoliri. Um, uh, I think Ifian is here. Ifian was the one that did the, um, the what do you call it? Yeah. Okay, good afternoon. Sorry, good day. Um, yeah, so uh, update. So, so far, um, we've been able to, like, do everything. Uh, the first one was the workshop that I handled during KiosCon. Um, that's the first one. So it's done. Then the interviews have been um they've been recorded and currently what um is the next step for us is I think just to get uh story points like the storytelling points behind the whole story that we have because what the interviews were about is um we should interview people that haven't used co-pilots before right ask them for their thoughts and different things like that and the post interview after the um, workshop to ask for their thoughts and like some questions and that's like all. Oh. So yeah, my deadline too is the same as Omolire's on that's on 21st of July. Uh, so yeah, just to get like the storytelling points and put everything on. Yeah, we talked about I think transcribing. I'm not I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do that. So uh, yeah, that's that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Um, for the third one, I think I'll just speak for Catherine because she's um, out of office today, so she had joined earlier and left. Uh, so, and I'm, I'm the one holding back the hackathon from starting because I need to, there's some admin things I need to do. So um, the, the hackathon is just basically going to be building a project and the participants that are going to build that project are going to use GitHub Copilot. Um, Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, they're going to use GitHub Copilot to read the project. So very soon, I think by next week, we should kick it off um, because um, Katrin already has everything planned. Um, I'm, I'm just, it's just pending on me to create that repository and then you can start also. Um, if you're a developer and you're interested in doing, you know, building for the hackathon, um, just keep your 
keep your ears to the ground would soon like start it off. Um, okay, so yeah, that's about the third one. All right, thank you, Rose, for that, and thanks to um, the leads for the updates. Um, so moving on, so um, we're having Enoch talk to us about so there was like some changes on to the um, chaos dev meeting, chaos Africa dev meetings, right? So, um, so hi Enoch, do you want to share a bit on that? What uh, meeting this was finalized on, and um, you can also talk about the event badging website update as well. You know, together with that. Thank you. Uh, hey, hello. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Um, uh, first, I would say I think we broke the record in chaos by having the largest number of participants in a chaos call. Um, so that's, uh, that's a story for another day. Oh, uh, well, um, just to go to what I need to present uh we had meetings that resumed for the chaos africa dev um, for people interested in development and the previous call that we had um we made uh, a resolution with the people that were around that we're going to have separate calls that will be just one hour and will be recorded just to help people who may join in later and those that have joined us and they're new to know where they can start with in contributions, um, particularly in using um, languages like Python, JavaScript, um, uh, shell script, um, technical writing. Um, I'm sure I'm sure there are working groups for some of these, but I felt it was necessary just to have one session with every working group or with every tool that we use in Agar. Um, so far, I was talking to Sean some minutes before the call here, and Sean has already scheduled um, two calls for Python, um, but specifically focusing on Agar. One will be on Saturday and another on Tuesday. Um, he has told me they're going to be the same calls, so you can attend any of them. Well, I need to be sure about that, but I'm thinking they're going to be the same calls. If you can check on your chaos calendars, I hope he has updated the calendar and they are able to reflect. Um, one will be this Saturday and another will be for Tuesday, June 11th, I guess, not this coming Tuesday, but the other Tuesday. And, um, Apart from the one for Sean, I'll be facilitating the one for JavaScript and uh, shell script. I'm still, at least by end of next week, we shall have all those calls scheduled, but those will be a one-time thing. Um, apart from that, we shall always be having our Chaos Africa dev meetings on Tuesdays. Um, on Tuesdays, the time, depending on your time zone, West African time, I think it will be um i think if uh, you guys will check on your calendar um i i request mary blessing to help uh if she has the if she has the access to the chaos calendar or if she doesn't ruth can help us add those meetings to the chaos calendar so that everyone else can be able to see what, them what time is what time is it going to be um i'm sure it's mary blessing knows about that time i i want i can check in my calendar but 10 a.m. Um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's for the death. Yeah. But the other ones that were created afterwards, I didn't um, catch up with it. Um, am, am I breaking or just people are not following? No, no, you're not breaking. I can't hear you. All right. Um Okay, um, for the other ones that were scheduled, it's only one that has been scheduled so far, and that's for the Python call, um, focusing on Alga mm -hmm. that will be on Saturday. It's already in the chaos calendar, um, but if you can't see it, I will uh, share it after the call here in the Chaos Africa or in the general group. One will be on Saturday, this Saturday, and I will be on Tuesday 11th. That's uh, next Tuesday, after this Tuesday. 
Um, the rest have not yet been scheduled. Um, I want to get in touch with someone who can um, help us going around the uh, metrics creation and stuff. But most of these things are actually discussed in the calls that are for newcomers, sometimes on Tuesdays, and then there are always monthly calls for newcomers. So some of the things that are not dev related, you can always catch up during office hours or in the monthly um, newcomer calls. Um, but I'll make sure I communicate all of those meetings um, effectively for everyone here, just for our own benefit. And during the Chaos Africa dev meetings is when we shall be having mostly updates about what is going on in the event badging website, in our Chaos um, um, projects. Um, that is um, the badging board, which is really now a Chaos Africa thing. And also our, just in case maybe there is any other project that comes in that is um, developer related, which it will always be in the Chaos Africa dev meetings, which will always be one hour. Um, currently, the only updates I have about our website and our, yeah. and our boat is, um, I want to I want to dedicate um, the maintenance and development of that to folks um, on this Chaos Africa call after the JavaScript session of how everything works. Um, for those who were in the last meeting, I think um, I made it clear that um, at least we are going to have roles delegated um, in maintenance of the different um, projects and platforms so that um, we can have roles split out and so that um, we can have things run smoothly instead of rotating around one person. So I should say next week is when um, we can have updates about the website and um, its integrations. Otherwise, I hope I didn't confuse anyone unless there is a question. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. If if I'm getting you correctly, you know, um, first the the dev meetings are going to be weekly every Tuesdays, right? Yep. Yep. And every also, Tuesday. Also, there's going to be like you know standalone kind of meetings like Augur, the training sessions for Augur, and maybe for Grimoire Lab, right? So those are not going to be recurring. It's just going to be a session, for example. If it's about Agar, we're going to have Sean um, come and facilitate a one hour session where he's going to walk us through um, the workflow of the contribution process in Agar. Um, setting it up may be one of the things, but mostly what we're looking at is how to navigate the whole project and make a contribution. Um, the other things may be upon the the, the interest of the contributor to explore in detail. It's going to just be one session. And if it's about maybe the board, it will just be about um, how do you contribute, um, how are pull requests reviewed, how should they look like, um, in case you have an issue, whom do you talk to, where do you raise a concern, things like that, just to get people um, up to speed with contributions, not like in depth. Yeah. I um, Yeah. When would that one happen? That? The newcomer friendly ones. When will they happen? Um so far already only one has been um slated for Agar. And mm -hmm. that is specifically targeting Python contributors, uh, mm -hmm. Python developers. Um I wanted to set one for JavaScript on uh, Monday, but looks like it will be a big fix. I'm looking at Wednesday. Um, Kingsley is also um, suggesting we add one for designers where he, I'm sure he'll be the one facilitating that, which will be a one hour thing. Um, he could choose his time and then we let the folks know. And for those who can't make it in the times that maybe the facilitator is, av is available, we can, we, we, we promise to send links to the recordings in the channels. 
Okay, okay, I think that makes sense. Um, but I think something you can also do um is if you could put this as well on the dev channel and maybe get the timing for people that work for them. Um, because especially even with this dev meetings, I don't know how accessible it is to everyone, like 10 a.m. on Mondays, um, on Tuesday. Well, that meeting, um, I also found it there and I decided to just work it out. <laughs> I can share to you because it wasn't my suggestion, but Mary Blessing looks like it's Mary Blessing that created that meeting. <laughs> well, you guys, like you, you, you can both run a poll. Oh, no. Yeah, we already did a poll for the dev a long time ago before I created it. Actually, yeah. So we can just do another one so we get to know what time it actually works and then add it to the channel and maybe um, when when you are, when we are when we are solid on the. On the timing, I can now update like the chaos calendar. I think it will be better to have it on the chaos calendar than just add people's emails so everybody can see the meeting and they're able to join. I think towards the end of this meeting, I'll just show people again how to like add meetings to their calendar so they don't get to like miss these meetings. So yeah, uh, I don't know, you know, did you give updates on the on the event badging website, I think is this something that you're also like, I think you mentioned something about delegating tax or- Yeah, yeah. Um, currently, there isn't actually activity going on on the website more so since, um, apart from the travelings that I had, a lot of my head is focused on to the project badging that is happening in Chaos Africa. But um, I said, I'm looking at giving delegations onto most of the projects that I'm maintaining to people while we are in those um, dev meetings so that um, things can continue moving smoothly because we have a lot of people here that can actually do stuff that I'm doing when I need to show them where and how so that um, they can take up those roles. So um, updates about that may probably come in um, after our onboarding call for JavaScript and shell script contributions next week okay okay that, that's fine um, that makes sense um so i think does anyone have any question for Eno? because he kind of manages the development work and if you are still the kind of like lost with development you can always drop a message on the dev channel if you're not there cash chaos africa dash dev um so asking questions will help you kind of familiarized there are a couple of moving parts um with software and what we do in chaos africa and even larger chaos group so um, it might take some time for you to familiarize yourself with stuff or just give it time and also try to join the meetings but if you do have questions <laughs> yeah well Ruta, um, as the questions are coming up i think um I, I, I may also need a reintroduction on the Chaos Africa Working Group so that um, we can know how to make use of them and how the newcomers can also make use of them. When you say reintroduction, I don't think I get what you... I mean, like, uh, me inclusive, I'm kind of, I don't know how many working groups we have in Chaos Africa and whom to contact and what they actually help us with because they can be... Um, and that they can help the newcomers to focus on whom to contact, on what and where. I think, okay, I get what you're saying. And even, I think even goes back to the next agenda item about the chaos slack bots that okay. I feel long overdue to kind of like updates because um, mm, that's right. updated information in, and, and then it could also help to add information about who, who to contact in the message that comes up. But, answering your question so there are five of them um the dev channel the dev working group i won't call them working groups because it kind of like makes it very complicated mm. we have not working groups but i'll call them focus groups um the dev channel the design um we created the technical writers one the um research the community i think the community management ones are there, there are about five, but I think we also need to rethink about those focus groups. At some point we stopped the meetings for them because people weren't showing up or like there was no much activity going. But um, with our last chaos con and having a lot of people that that want to participate, I think maybe next meeting we'll talk about um, people, maybe I'll reach out to some people that would love to 
you know, own, like for example, with um, design, Kinsley has been the one owning things. And with development now, you're owning things, right? Um, so for the other working groups, I keep saying working groups, for the other focus groups, we might now have to find like, okay, people that want to own these things because most of the time, I think uh, it has been a problem of management, like who manages this and who brings people together. So um, yeah. the, the other three, um, so the other three, if you want to leave things there, there are three of them. If you want to do leave things there, you can reach out to me and then we can talk better on the key. And then maybe in the next meeting, we'll find people that actually want to participate there. So we're kind of like starting things up again. Sure, um, I just wanted to bring that up so that um, I'm aware that there are people that are focused on uh, different um, contribution areas so that we know where to point newcomers and to who. Mm -hmm. Yep, so uh, yeah, I feel we might maybe next the next meeting. I'll yeah, sure, sure, no problem. Very now maybe updates on who's doing this and who's doing that so people get to know. So thank you for raising that up. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, um, move to the next subject. Mm -hmm. Um, who is the facilitator? Um, and then the facilitator has uh left office. <laughs> okay, okay, I think the last thing is um, the event badging, so that's like another way to contribute to chaos. We have an event badging project. And we're in need of reviewers, like people that review applications. Um, and if you're interested, you can sign up with that form link. That's on I don't know when the person has gone to, but you can sign up with the form link. Um, we get a lot of conferences these days, and we need people that are interested in, in reviewing applications. So if you can sign up, we have like an orientation session, so you we're not just throwing you into like that's the link. So you can sign up to review. Um, it's a non-code kind of contribution. So if you're interested in non-code contributions, that should be something you would love to do. We have like orientation sessions. We had one this week. So if you can sign up for it, um, yeah, we would reach out for um, an orientation session. And that's one really good way to start contributing. Um, yeah, I think, does anybody have any questions? I think this is the last agenda item. Any questions? Any any confusions or this has this call has is very big and it's very quiet at the same time. We yeah, it's the covered. Yeah, a lot of things to have updates about and to choose or. Sometimes when someone is interested in one particular thing, they may they may be like, when's my part reaching so that I can hear what I'm supposed to hear and leave? <laughs> you know, um, I think the <laughs> hand raised, so they just go for it, Kinsley and then Sophia. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kinsley. Okay, so, uh, so my, uh, this thing, Comments actually for designers on the call. Um, so I know we've had like lots of designers join the call, you know, recently, or the community recently. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so we've had a um, lot of designers join the call or our community. Sorry. So I think uh, by next week we I'm going to put up the call. Um, of course, an invite on the channel. So please, if you're a designer, and I know I've got like tons of messages in my DM. So please, let's just do this next week. Um, not decide on the day. I'm just going to share that on the channel so we all can decide on what time works for us. So please, if you're like, yeah, a designer, and I know they haven't said anything regarding design. So I think next week we'll have our call and get some things straight. Thank you so much. Over to you, Ruth. Okay, I think Sophia has a hand raised, so just Sophia can go for it. Mm, Sophia, I don't know if you're trying to speak, but we can hear you. Oh, 
Huh. I don't think can anyone hear Sophia? Let me know if it's like from my end. Apart from I, herself. I can't. You can hear her. No, I can't. I can't. I can't hear anybody. I'm sure she can hear herself. Uh, <laughs> can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah, right now. Oh, okay. So um, I just wanted to uh make sure the um uh, recording is going to be happening because I kind of joined late and I was lost in between. I can barely understand what's going on because I'm a new so I want to reference the um recording to be able to catch up on what was said before I joined in. Yeah, sure. The the recording is going to be available, but I think before the end of the week, it is best that the community manager she usually like puts the recording for every meeting. But you can also use the notes to kind of like look through, like look through, and see what has been said. But welcome, Sophia. Um, yeah, you can also. Are you a developer, designer, product manager? What category do you fall in? Uh, I fall into project management and researching actually, more like a no code. Yeah, did you say program management? Projects, not program. Oh, nice. Uh, you can reach out to me. Love to know more. Um, so I think we are almost out of time. I think there's another meeting that's, that goes on around this time. But I just wanted to kind of like end the meeting by thanking everyone for joining had like a lot of people so thank you for joining and I have like some updates about all in Africa because I know I talked about it in chaos con in the next meeting I'm I have I would have better updates about that um but like we said if you're if you're just joining us for the first time or you're getting started just uh join the different focus groups and there'll be more information on how to get started and meetings to join and all that stuff. So um, I'll let everyone have the rest of their evening or afternoon. Um, so bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.